play some Star Fox 2. See how this goes. I really haven't gotten too far in this game. I remember having a hard time. God, the graphics are so cool. Fear my vengeance. I'm so glad this game finally got a real release. Terrible news. Our sworn enemy, the fiend Andros, is alive. It's launching an assault on Corneria. The battle carriers and attack forces of Andros are now advancing on Corneria. Enemy bases have been established on overrun planets. Planetary missiles will be fired from these enemy bases. Once again, we must ask for your assistance. Damage reaches 100%. It's all over. Why is it telling me to rewind? Well, I'd love to read this text. Hello? Can I re rewind to read the text? Engage the forces of Andros while keeping, while at the same time, keeping damage to Corneria at the lowest level possible. Good luck. There's no, like, settings that I can... Oh, there is a home menu? What the fuck? What is this? Huh? Oh, I guess ZR is alone is home menu. Okay. That's not how that works on other controllers, but... I'm glad there is a way to go home. Alright, cool. Who we who we picking? These are really cool portraits. Happy. E charge shield. We got Dogger, Cat, Slippy. Should we play as Slippy? Is that like a health recharge instead of a bomb? S. What is S? Miu and Fay. Oh yeah, we get a wingman too. Maybe we should just play as the two new characters, even though their stats are the same. We want red ship or blue ship? Let's do red ship. Oh, I was like, do I not get to pick? We gotta choose the new characters, right? Man, that's the type of thing that I feel like they should have reused those designs at some point. You know how sometimes cut content. Move the cursor, then press B. To engage enemy, land on planets, and intercept ships. Switch positions with your wingman by pressing select. Oh. Turn to your mothership to warp to any free planet. We need to infiltrate the enemy base to annihilate it. Can we blow up these carriers? Destroy its energy core. So I should probably intercept this missile then. Take the missiles out, then go for the carrier. If you want to speed up, use Y. Oh my god. We got him. How do I switch my view? I know there's a way to do it in the first game. Well, that was pretty easy. Holy shit. Stupid fast. Or are we stuck with that view when we're out in space? Take out this missile, then go for the carrier. Oh shit, we got enemies. I guess these are enemy fleets. It wasn't missiles. I 
All right, I think we got one. Yeah, three targets left. Nice, easy. These guys are like paper thin defenses here. I know we can speed up. We're speeding. Holy shit, we're speeding too high. Nice. All right, not bad. I really wish we could go out of first person view though. All right, let's go to the carrier. To fly into it and destroy it. These graphics are amazing, actually. Yeah, is there not a... Oh, there we go. How many views do we get? Just two. Holy shit, what an obnoxious sound. Oh my god, we're being shot at. Dude, this is so fucking cool. What? We're in there. How do we transform? Ah, there we go. Holy shit. This runs so poorly. Oh, it's a pepper, general pepper coin right there. How do I? Is there a way to like aim up and down more easily? I guess those aren't enemies technically. Maybe everything will just be at proper height it's the core ah it kind of gives me an auto lock that's pretty slick holy shit we're out dude this game is fucking awesome what How come I don't remember enjoying this for the little bit that I played before? Destroying the carriers destroys the fighters. Oh, so we don't even need to like chase down all the fighters. Hmm. This is our satellite defense platform. It protects Corneria. I intercept this missile, huh? Oh, so we can just choose to play as the other pilot. Let's give it a go. Man, this game would be really sick if you had like a multiplayer mode. Pressing Y will activate boosters. Holy shit. Cleared it so fast. If you had like multiplayer where you take turns and you like split up and divide the um, the responsibilities, that would be really fun. It's Pigma. Holy shit. There he is. Oh god, he's coming right for me. Pressing Y will activate the boosters. Maybe I should go first person view for this one. Oh my god. The asteroids. This dude loves to come straight for me. There we go. Now we got a nice beat on him. We do have a mini map in the upper right too. So much going on with this game. I wish I'd also get like different advice than uh, just the booster advice.
Fuck. My shields. Alright. Some quality hits. He's about halfway there. Come on, Pigma, you bastard. Defense system destroyed an enemy target. Oh, so all this shit's... Okay, yeah, I do recall this. All this, you know, there's stuff happening while we're... While we're doing this. Oh my god, we're gonna fucking die. I'm trying... Ooh, okay. We're living. We're just a little just a little on fire, no big deal. Now how do I heal up? Uni pet rat is running about. The fuck Oh my god. We have like a boss on the map now? Your ship's shields are recharging at your mother ship. Holy shit, they're coming. All right, we can we can do this. Hunter. Fighter. Those are missiles. Power up shields and warp. Wow, we can go all the way out there then, huh? The question is, did it heal my other guy? It did. That's pretty sick. Oh, so now we just have the mothership straight chilling here. That's not bad, actually. Alright, let's try and make it to the base, I guess. At least we won't have to deal with Pigma again. It's Leon. Well, I'm glad we healed. Wonder if they have different like fighting styles. It doesn't really look like it. It's kind of doing similar shit. You son of a bitch. All right, not bad. Got a little bit of damage in. Coronary is under assault. What the fuck? Return to map. Can I just like abandon this? Why why the missile not? Or the defense laser not protect? So is this the hunter? Can that thing hurt Cornaria? Mirage Dragon. Oh yeah, you can see the map the whole time. Holy fuck. Alright, let's keep moving. Oh my god, man. We are dealing a little bit of damage. Oh my god, man. I'm gonna fucking die. What does my S do? Oh, it's a shield. That would have probably been helpful. Probably should have used that a while ago. Come on. The shield's OP. Just took a whole fucking laser. Didn't matter. I gotta pop 
the shield again just so I don't die. Nice. Okay. Sucks to have to use my shields there, but... Gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. To survive the Mirage Dragon. Oh my god, they're fucking going for it. All out assault. All right, Leon again? Yes. Is he already damaged is the other question. No. Captain Wolf. Hey, let's go first person again. No, it kind of gives me a little bit of a headache. Maybe that's unrelated. Also really warm. Oh my god, you son of a bitch. Cut over to the side real quick. Down below half. There's some good hits. Nice. We didn't even take any retaliatory damage. The planetary missile coming. We gotta finish this guy off though. We're in too deep. He's dodging me so well. What the fuck? Okay, cool. Oh, fuck you, Leon. Very nice. Let's get a move on. Oh, the laser's charging. I see it. It's not always ready. Okay, we intercepted it just above the planet, basically. It should be quick to take out. Nice. Easy. Clear time 0.3. Pretty fast. Alright, lasers charging. We got a carrier. There's a couple fighters. So it said if we take the carrier out, that the fighters should should be taken out as well, right? My presumption. Right, we gotta go view two. We're fucking cruising. They really just let you boost to your heart's content there. Alright, let me in. Make sure we don't get fucking smashed. Ugh. Ugh. I'm getting fucking smashed. Alright, defense system's putting in work. We gotta open the door. Fuck that guy. We do get shields back in here, which is nice. At least a little bit. Alright, this should be the reactor. Don't be too crazy now that we're in here. Strafe and move, baby. Strafe and move. Alright, cool. Easy. Fucking easy, man. <clears throat> We're still pretty healthy too. I don't feel the need to use my item. Try and save those as long as we can. I think we can get more of them, but we'll just chill for a little bit. Yeah, I thought it was supposed to take out like the other fighters. Well, whatever. 
whatever with the carrier down it should make things a little bit more more easy easier to handle these missiles are so easy to take out they kind of just chill and let you blow them up it's more about just getting there I guess that's the challenge having to cross the map to potentially take one out we'll have to heal up after this fight then we can think about heading one of those missile things god that ship is huge it's so fucking big oh my god these homing shots Come on now. All right, let's go. I don't know what it is. The first person actually I feel does make things a little easier. How you doing, Breen Ann? All right, we got one down. Oh my God. Holy shit, dude, he's so far away. God, our shields are so low. Enemy out of range. Fucking excuse me. We we have to heal. We're gonna be fucked. Let's just warp to Corneria then. We'll cut him off at the pass. That's so cute. The little emote. Plus the cursed Joel, it's even better. Okay. <laughs> there was one ship left in their fleet. Alright, the warping is OP. I kind of thought the warp would be like, uh, you warp away from the mothership, but it comes with you, which is really nice. All right, infiltrate the enemy base and annihilate it. Switch unknown. Entrance. This might be one where we do an outside view. We have to find the entrance. Oh, they start me outside view. Let me tell you how to control a walking craft. Even though we've already done it. We got it figured out, General Pepper. The Queen Dragoon. Oh, we can move faster. That much I did not know. The fuck? Is this a button? Oh, it is a button. Nice. All right, I'm in. Go faster. I guess we're meant to fly in there. Kind of just assumed it was a walking segment, but whatever. All right, now it's a walking segment. The pepper coin. It's like a pretty uh, high res texture on there, surprisingly. Not insanely so, but like he's carrying a button as well. Very nice. That's how electronics work. You can just carry it around and then when it hits the ground, it becomes active, I guess. I don't know. All right, what do we got in here? What the fuck are you? Holy shit. He's shooting Cheerios. An S? What is the S? Special weapon. 
Oh. Did that change my equipment to shields, I guess? What if I wanted the heal? Then what? I guess just don't pick it up. Alright, we got a strafe. Nice, not bad. I wonder what the frame rate was during all that. Six? Six frames per second? All right, we got the base. That base wasn't too tough. You mangy cur. How dare you challenge me again? What is this zero? I guess we're going to Venom. Uh, the orbital laser should take that missile out, actually. So we don't really need to pursue that. All right, where's the switch? Oh, that's an altitude meter on the right. I was like, what is that? All right, cool. I guess the switch is just available. The other one we had to uh, kill an enemy. Although there's two switches, we might still need to kill an enemy. Run. I love our goofy little little run. Holy shit, this is so far away. This area is huge. There's a mushroom. Thought that was an enemy for a moment. We have a T on the map. What is the T? In the upper right there. Oh, is that just... Oh, T for target, I guess. I was hoping it was like a power-up goodie. That's fine, though. And these guys be shooting the second I come in. Alright, get the shield. Hop on up. Only a little laggy. By that, I mean extremely. Alright, we're fucking going. This is amazing, though, that this can be rendered on Super Nintendo. Like a door enemy? Alright, pretty cool. Easy. Got wall turrets. On either side here. That map is... Surprisingly useful, actually. I didn't think so at first. But the more I'm playing, the more I'm realizing it's pretty pretty darn useful. <clears throat> we gotta get the pepper coin. Even though we're not gonna get all of them. Nice. Very good. Is that just missable if we blow this up? You just can't ever get that collectible. Damn, you got like pieces of this place falling off the ceiling and stuff. This is really sick. Highly cinematic for what it is, honestly. <clears throat> Alright, cool. We're out. So that missile should get bopped. We just go here. What's next? There's nothing else. I'm guessing when that missile explodes, we'll get something. Finally, Andros's forces in the Lilat system are defeated. Press on. You must neutralize Andros once and for all. I think this is the end of the game. Hear me, Star Fox. I, Star Wolf, will defeat you now. Shit. I like his little portrait. Worthless cowards. Pepper deceived you. I am the best pilot. Fuck you. No, I'm the best pilot. I'm Dirty Dan. Oh, fuck. All 
we're using a shield. That's cool that it actually like surrounds my ship in first person. Alright. Wolf, you fucking pussy, get back here. That's all I got out of my shield. I wanted to save my shields for the last world, so. Hoping we can get through this fight mostly unscathed. Really sucks that the charge shot doesn't lock on. It feels fucking useless. Tomorrow I shall crush you. The comms feed like breaking up there is a really cool effect too. Guarg, you pathetic fools are completely worthless. Oh shit, we're just in there now. Please tell me that healed my ships. There we are. Holy shit, we have like a whole cutscene. This is insane. Alright, let me in. We are healed. Oh shit, fuck. I didn't realize how quickly that was going. Dude, I'm getting fucking destroyed. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking explode. Alright, set me down real quick. Holy shit, that was so bad. I crashed into everything, I was trying to transform. I think it was too early, they didn't want me to transform. Got shields. Thank you. Yeah, we have so many, so many guys shooting at me. There we go. I kind of doubt that I can leap this, so I guess we're gonna have to transform and then land on it. Okay, a little close. Not bad though. They just have a molten. Molten fire pit in the center of the of the ship, I guess. <laughs> I might have been able to make that jump. I just I'm scared. I don't want to risk it. How do we Ah, we shoot it to open. Please don't smack me in the ass. Okay. Nice, pepper coin. That actually heals me too, holy shit. General Pepper, what a god. All right, we're running. We're fucking running. Anything over here? Oh my god, we have like multiple paths. Did I take a wrong turn earlier? Where am I right now? Um, That looks like a door we haven't been through, right? Alright, I think this is good. Not bad at all, Star Fox. Is this going to be it, or is there an actual final boss? There better be a real final boss. I guess the charge shots are probably useful on, like, these little nodes. Maybe? It's hard to tell if they're even hitting. Yeah, they kind of just disappear. Oh shit, it's the Andros cube. You gonna retaliate? Holy shit, I think we did it. Well, that was kind of... No real final boss? Or are we about to get it right now? We're going in.
Oh shit. Your existence ends here. We have no map or anything. Oh my god. This is so fucking cool. Hello? Oh, he's like behind us. Hold up. Let's whip this bitch around. Oh my god, he's right there. He's shooting fucking fire out of his eyes. He's cloaked. Make some make some space here. Maybe we should stay first person for this then. I love that effect where he cloaks. It's just like he's just called out of existence. Come on. Let's try view one. Oh my god. We were inside of him. This background is so trippy. I can't tell like how high or low we are. Let's see if we can pop him real quick. Not bad. Yeah, that's an interesting effect. Holy shit. Fire everywhere. Cube time. Oh, there it is. I thought the flat one was real. I guess that's it. That was pretty easy for the most part. Unless there's another phase. I guess this game isn't necessarily meant to be hard, but I know there is a hard mode. Is there like a super hard mode too? Is this like a normal, normal is easy type scenario? Holy shit. That's really fucking cool. It's a really simple effect, but it conveys exactly what it needs to. Good job. That was a nail biter. What? It wasn't all that bad. We toasted him. We got all the homies. What a cool game. I'm not sure if I like it more than the original. I like the original a lot, actually. I like the linear stage type layout a little bit better than the all range mode, I think. The linear stages are just so much, you know, easier to keep track of where you are. Moth glider. Yeah, and this one, it's kind of like you can easily get turned upside down and left and right. If there's something below you, it can be hard to, uh, you know, figure out what's the best direction to turn to, to get it in your sights. Night Fang. So cool. Hal bird. It's the Hal bird. Hal Laboratories bird. But yeah, imagine being the team that made this. Have it never released. And then finally, years and years and years later, the game you made comes out. That's probably a really cool moment for them. It's a cool game, though. I like these Super FX games. Not gonna lie, this one gave me kind of a headache. A little bit. But the, uh, the aesthetic is really cool. The aliasing. 
the simple flat colors with glowy spots too. It's a really cool aesthetic. Just using those little wires there to add a little visual flair. It's the wolf team. Andros. Andros's design in this is so fucking weird looking. Cool. Cool game. Oh, now we get like a rank. We had no damage on Corneria. C rank. Probably get better scores on the harder difficulties. Cool, we got Faye and Mew. I wonder if there's like really top tier uh like pairings. Initials. This fucked with me, it's not a QWERTY. Oh my god. This menu. Shoot the letters. We got four total coins. Alright, that was cool. Well